from this year. He goes around to all the schools in the countries. He's been to 300 yeshiva katanas in America, 300 day schools and yeshiva katanas, by the way. We're talking about every, talking about Hasidish and Haimish and yeshivish, and he told me this is one of the two best schools in America. We came to visit Waterbury in the school. We were so impressed at our first visit at how idealistic people were, how committed they were to the community. It's really been the first time that we've met a community that was on one hand so Torahdic and at the same time a mainstream community. Off the bus each day to Yeshiva on our way, greeted by a smile that A boy who comes to this yeshiva katana really, really has a sense of responsibility for the cloud. He's really looking to help everyone. He really appreciates everyone else's abilities. Everyone claps and cheers for each other. Everyone is happy for each other. I think the yeshiva katana kids are wholesome. They're not into technology as much as other kids who I've seen are. And they're just, all in all, they're just happy, wholesome kids. Sometimes I just stand in the hallway and watch when the bus lets off the kids and everyone's coming in and you just see that smile, I think that says it all. They're coming in here with such an excitement to come learn in yeshiva. A full day of yeshiva, they're coming in happy. The friendships that we make, how to learn from a mistake. Embarking on a tire of path that's paved just for me. So proud this is our place, how we sense its warm embrace. You can feel the electricity. Teachers are constantly focusing on what they can do to improve and add whatever they can to the existing infrastructure. When I think about the Rebbeim, I think of nonstop. We share different things, we discuss different things, and they're always looking to go the next step. They're always looking for something more. Although in this yeshiva, they have more of an out-of-town sense, I am teaching the same thing I was teaching in a bigger yeshiva. As a matter of fact, I even feel like I go quicker and I could go more in depth. Each boy certainly gets his shaykhis and his private time with the Rebbe every single day. This yeshiva is a community yeshiva and the boys know each other. Rabbeim know the boys from outside the walls of the yeshiva, and it's a family yeshiva, and it's very, very nice to be part of it. I see them at home, I see them playing outside, I see them in kosher world, I see them in ShopRite, and I see them in school. It helps you, you know, you don't see only one side of the student, you see who they are as people. A lot of times you'll meet parents in shul, they're always interested, how is my son, what do you do today, how did this change? We're working on that, how's it going? I feel like they're constantly asking and they want to be part of it as much as they could. So young when I first came, when I barely knew my name. Thrilled to be a part of something special here. Striving every day, we continue on our way. Growing, staying every When we move
moved here, we were very, very nervous to take out our children from their yeshivas in Beis Yaakov. The yeshiva really, really invited them. My children, Baruch Shem, adjusted perfectly. The Rabbeim and the Moras, they focused their attention to them, to bring them in, to welcome them in, and it was a very, 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 very special experience to have my children be part of this new family that we found. My kids come home and they tell me how they feel that their Moras and their Rabbeim love them. You know, my son tells me all the time, Marbaya loves us, you know, Rabbi Sunenshain loves us. And it's very, it's very special. My kids tell me all the time how happy they are, what a great day they had, and I'm so thankful for that. I feel privileged to be part of this community because each person here has a job and each person is needed. Whoever comes finds his niche that he is absolutely necessary to be part of this community and therefore it gives a very, very great sense of satisfaction and I am very, very proud to be part of it. When I see how devoted, how idealistic other people are, I feel like it's a chiyuv for me to be even more idealistic, be even more committed and um, I feel very proud being part of such an institution. I know when I'm working here that everyone around me is pushing and trying to do more and more. That keeps me also very on top of my game, that I'm also always going to look and try to do as best as I can. involved in Chinuch and everyone here you feel that they are doing the best job they can be doing. <laughs> <laughs>